Uh, now we get to the point where the subsequent speakers. So um, the chair would like to recognize a subsequent speaker for the pro side of the argument. Um, you guys have notes. Pro choice. Notes. Notes. Anyone have notes? No, no. Do you have notes? I didn't bring them with me. Do you have notes? Well, did, did you say obvious? Alright, please respect the speaker. Uh, three minutes on the time. Uh, say your name. Oh my god. My god. Obviously, I'm a freshman. Uh, so, main things that uh, I heard Matt say, he says it from an economic standpoint, it doesn't make sense because it costs us $19 million in a year for abortion just in the state of California. Respect thing, the speaker! Shh! One thing I don't think he took into account, maybe I'm wrong, is teen pregnancies. When you have a teen pregnancy and a teen mom, that sh if she can't have an abortion, uh, say she she has the baby, and because of the baby she can't go through a higher education, she can't get a good job, she's on a minimum wage job with a child, and she gets welfare. And a lot of our tax dollars go to welfare. Everybody here paying, everybody that pays taxes, some of it goes to welfare. So if all of our teen moms all have kids, and they're all, you know, having minimum wage jobs, they're all applying for welfare, it's going to cost us more, because I think more welfare does go a little bit higher than $19 million. Also, if you, again, and by letting that teen mom have that child, you're taking away a lot of opportunities that she could have had. She could have gone to college, she could have became a doctor, a lawyer, she could have a liberal arts degree or something. She could have done something more for the world than had a kid and took all of our welfare, our tax money. Uh, and with abortion, it's, it's obviously all by choice, and it means that if you want to apply for abortion, it means you don't want to have a baby. And if you don't want to have a baby, you shouldn't subject someone to force them to have a baby because of the repercussion of one action that they probably made, or one decision that was bad on their part. You know, if they were drunk or something, they couldn't have decision-making skills. Sometimes you have people with genetic disorders that were born that can't even make the connection between having sex and getting pregnant, and they still have to have a baby. And it came down to a Supreme Court case a few years ago, actually, I don't remember the name of the case, where there was a girl, and she did have a mental problem, and she had a child, and her mother, who was well into her 50s, had to raise that child. And then she got pregnant again. And she took it to the court to get an abortion, and the court said she couldn't do it because we're not allowed to procreate. But, Again, these people who don't have decision-making skills, they can't raise a baby. Now, you, Not only do you subject them to ruin the rest of their life, you ruin that child's life because he didn't have a good upbringing. And there are many examples of what a good upbringing can do to you and what it, a lack of a good upbringing can do to you. And I yield my time for questions. I'm sorry. So what you're proposing is that because of someone's mistake, we should Kill, some, kill somebody and cost them their entire life and all their life experience because one person was drunk and stupid and then they couldn't have any decision making skills. Well, when you kill somebody, who are the people that are affected? Is that person affected? Not really. They don't know. They die. It's everybody else that's affected. It's everybody that remembers that person. If my dad died, it hurts me because it's my dad. And it hurts my mom because it's, his, it's her husband. When you have a baby in, it, in a womb, and motion to extend speakers time by two minutes. Aye. Aye. Second. Aye. Second. Aye. Second. Aye. All in favor? All opposed? Nay! Sit down. Eyes up. As I was saying, you, you affect the people that, that, that the deceased person had a relationship with. The only person that embryo has a relationship with is the mother that doesn't want it for her. Um, I would like to point out that you stated that $19 million was well, was well under what we would have to pay for welfare of women who were pregnant. Now, there were only 45,000 women who got those abortions, and that cost them $19 million when welfare cost between $11 million and $22 million. $22 million. So if the rate of women who got abortions went up to, let's say, in the hundreds of thousands, which means that it would cost us up in the $40 million or $50 million, what would that mean? Well, then you can argue with supply and demand is basically economic profit principle. When you have when you have more of a demand for abortions, you get more doctors starting to do abortions, and the price goes down, thus costing you less money. And it's every individual that pays for that abortion, with, and it's their choice to pay for it. 
Any other questions? Any other questions? So you're basically blaming an innocent child that had no option or choice in the matter of becoming a person for someone's stupid mistake and ruining their life thereafter? That child also did not have a choice or option to come into an embryo either. That's what I'm saying. So you're so you're going to say no that that child... No follow-ups. No follow-ups. No follow no follow no follow no. Yeah, guys, no follow-ups. Whatever they say, that's their issue. Parliamentary point of inquiry. No such thing. What does that mean, Jacob? For her to expatiate her question. Uh, denied. There's Any other further questions? <laughs> um, who are you to tell what destiny is? It's not what I have to tell what destiny is. It's that that mother can somehow determine, they can say, I think our parents make many choices for what's in our best nature. I see Ms. Cool is nodding her head as a mother. I mean, my parents tell me not to do certain things, and they don't let me do certain things because they feel that it's not in my best nature. As a mother, or, you know, as a mother, they feel that this child is not going to have a good life, and it's going to have even a bad life, then why should it have a life at all? Time. Alright. Uh, time expired. Anyways, 
let's just assume abortion is illegal, okay? Now, if we were to legalize abortion, that's what this debate's about, okay? Um, sorry, but time's expired, so we have to move on.